All right, here we have a fairly early build Blues Deluxe. It's already been recapped. Already had the five watt components changed out, these Zener diodes and these uh, resistors. Almost everything else in here is still stock. And, the, and it has new input jacks, uh, Switchcraft 12As. Um, the rest of it, aside from some uh, heater res balance resistors, which are added here, rather than, these must have burned, they commonly burn on this model. The rest of it is stock, and the complaint is it switches to the gain channel automatically. So let's power it on in standby. And uh, yeah, that red light is on for the gain channel, even though the push button is out. So let's take some voltage measurements, shall we? All right, so let's see here. Pin four, one volt. Pin eight, 16 volts. So the negative supply is failing and that's what's causing the relays not to work. Let's see which one's which. That's positive 16, that's zero, that's negative 16. And we have negative 16.8 here but it's got some movement to it. And I have a suspicion that is a broken solder joint causing that. Let's press the here. Yeah, if I mess with that, the LED goes off. So as I mess with the solder joint, the negative voltage supply comes in and out. Now I did this work several years ago, or a year ago plus, at least, I don't recall. And a lot of times, by the time an amp comes into me to have this work done, uh, the other side of the board already has some damage to it, uh, some heat damage. So I may have done what seemed okay at the time, and it just hasn't proven to last, in which case I need to go in here and do some more. In cases like this, I waive my full bench fee. Sometimes I just charge for 30 minutes. Sometimes, depending on the complexity, uh, I don't charge at all for follow-up like this, but I know that this was working when I completed it, and due to the nature of how Fender built this, there'll be a modest uh, charge, but I will waive the full bench fee on this, because once I get this board out, it'll be an easy repair, I, I would imagine. Let's uh, put that to the test. All right, so you can see this heat damage here, and this pad had totally lifted. I had removed conformal coating from this trace and had these two leads going together and to this trace, and it was good, but it has lifted up right here. So I'm going to do two things, because, you know, you don't want to overspend on an amp like this. You know, they, they present themselves as a quality amp. It's really not. I'm going to put some silicone on the other side to help secure that five watt resistor and that five watt diode, keep them from moving at this end and at this end. And I'm gonna run a wire from here and follow it along and it goes to here. So a jumper wire from here to here, electronically, because it's right here where that trace is giving up the ghost. And then on the other side, some silicone and it's just gonna be what it is. The only other option, Actually, let me call the owner and give him another option. Another thing I could do, if he wants me to rebuild this really well, is I could put in some holes to install some turrets and uh, swage them back in and then just have this hand-wired. 
how much money do you want to throw at fixing a really piss poor design? Uh, anyway, let me uh, call him with what I found and then we'll proceed from there. Well, I decided to show this to the owner, let him make decisions because this will work. I've got silicone here and here, which will support those. And once that silicone sets up, they're not going to want to move. And then on the other side of the board, I have this new bit of wire. Let me get it to focus on, on it. Running from here to these. And, you know, I could put some more silicone over here to keep it from moving. In fact, I'll do that real quick. And uh, this will keep that from ha happening again unless something goes wrong with all the traces over here. And it's just a pain in the butt to have to do this kind of thing on what's purportedly uh, a high-quality amp. Uh, it doesn't look very lovely, but I can get some of that steered around a little bit. Two options. Like I said, I could drill out some turrets. There would still be some jumper wires on this side of the board that would not be visible, but those turrets would be pretty rock solid. Uh, the other option is I could put a terminal strip or two on the chassis here and mount those uh, hot components there, again with wires running to the back of the board. Neither are really great. It's not, you know, it's what's the best fix for a bad problem to have uh, a rule of thumb I usually do when recommending things to, to clients is what would I do if it were my own amp? And honestly, I would not use a hot rod or blues amp, not because I'm an amp snob, but because I think that, that they uh, are ripoffs, you know, compared to other amps out there. Um, you just get so little for your money and you get so many problems that would have been easily avoided. You can see that burnt area there. That's all from Fender's saying, oh, people won't care. They'll just, they'll just buy anything. You know, I think that's really disrespectful of uh, customers and musicians. But anyway, I'll put this to the owner to see if he wants to live with it like this or whether he wants it to be all, you know, better while we wait for something else to go wrong in this amp. Well, this is one of the ugliest repairs I've ever done with all that stuff in there. Looks like I sneezed in it, et cetera, et cetera. Or, uh, you know, car... Uh, like a car, if you want to look at it in a more positive light. But I um, spoke to the owner and uh, given the option between this for a 30-minute charge or uh, having to pay actual time for turrets or terminal strips, you know, a more proper repair, this is going to hold up just fine given what the amp is. He got this basically free in a trade-in. The only money he really has in this amp our, uh, the money he spent recapping it and getting the input jacks done and, and that stuff because all this had failed. Uh, so the amp's playable and uh, slight mea culpa on my part, but you know, no one can see uh, 2020 into the future. And now it stays on the clean channel unless you want the dirty channel, which few do. Actually, it doesn't sound too bad at that level, but if you turn it up for crunch, ugh. anyway, he uses it on the clean channel, and on the clean channel, it will now stay again.